Hey, Sofrito lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you another mukbang from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx. The Bronx is the home of hip hop and salsa. I am bringing you a delicious assortment of two wonderful garlic knots and a vegetable sausage pizza, both from Emilio's here in Kingsbridge Heights. Emilio's is on the corner of Davidson and uh, Kingsbridge Road here in my neighborhood, Kingsbridge Heights, the Northwest Bronx. Um, what else can I say? I love Emilio's pizza. It's delicious. It's a New York style pizza. It's amazing, delicious. It's neighborhood pizza, mi gente. This is not Papa John's. This is not Domino's. This is not Pizza Hut. This is not Little Caesars. Estoy de casa. Um, okay. So let me eat it this way. Okay, I'm holding the plate. Mm. Mira, I'm a New Yorker. A new Eureka de Pura Sepa. I gotta fold my pizza this way. Mm. Vegetable pizza. There's broccoli, onions, red peppers, some mushrooms, I believe. It's a vegetable pizza, but I asked them to put some sausage on it. In fact, I think this was the vegetarian delight, now that I think about it. And when I ordered it, he was like, oh. And then I said, I want you to put sausage on top. And he went, que? What? And I was like, yeah, put sausage on top. He was like, okay. Mm. Oh, and it's got green pepper. Mm. Yeah, this was the veggie delight. And I confused the brother by asking him to put sausage on top. Homemade delicious garlic knots. I love Emilio's. It's your corner store pizza shop. Delicious, amazing, good, wonderful pizza. I'm sorry, but Domino's, Pizza Pizza, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, they could never. They could never. Mm. Mm. Sofrito lovers. Crossing my leg to get a little bit more comfortable. So frito lovers. Mm. Doughy, garlicky, baked to perfection. Garlic knots are just delicious garlic bread. It's wonderful. In knot form. Delicious. So frito lovers, I'm sorry it's been about two weeks since I brought you a video. Um, I know I was bragging about how Wednesdays are so good for me. Of course, I started bragging about how good Wednesdays are for me. And then two Wednesdays in a row, I get occupied with work. Because the after school's up and running. And sometimes I'm there late. I get home. Not in the mood. Love y'all to pieces. But sometimes a video just can't happen when I've got nothing to give. Two Wednesdays in a row. A lot going on but y'all know what it's like we're all working class people in America we're all busy we're all crazed at work mm. got home from work feeling a little antsy my fiance David wanted to go out take a little walk and I was like you know what let's do it let's go take a walk and as we walk around actually we he reminded me of an errand that I was supposed to run which I was supposed to go get a jar of mayonnaise from the like 50 50 supermarkets I have to walk past in order to get home you know I'm very blessed here quick aside I'm very blessed here in this area of Kingsbridge Heights because I'm surrounded by multiple schools Multiple elementary schools, multiple barber shops, multiple supermarkets. I literally, from right here in this apartment on 197th and University, I can walk in four different directions and am within walking distance of a supermarket. So I'm very blessed. This area is wonderful. He reminded me that I had wanted to get mayonnaise. Totally forgot about the mayonnaise as I walked home from work. And since he was antsy, he wanted to go out. And so was I. I was like, let's just go walk. And 
while we're walking, we'll pick up the mail and, you know, save ourselves some money because you know how it is with Seamless, right? You, you buy the food for $12, delivery free, service fee, tip, this, you know, curvature of the earth, you know, climate change, all the shit that they add on and then your $12 meal just became 30 something dollars and then tip. So you know how it is. We were like, okay, and we'll save ourselves a lot more money if we just walk around the neighborhood because we got a lot of places around here to eat. Some good, some bad, to be blunt. 50-50, like literally 50-50. For every one good place you can eat, there's a terrible place right next to it. We said, we'll save ourselves some money. Instead of going home and ordering, we're walking around here. We're just picking a one jar of mayo, walking our way back. Let's pick up food on the way. We ran into our neighborhood spot, Emilio's. David is next door enjoying the other two garlic knots. There were four all together, having his pepperoni pizza. And I am here loving this sausage veggie delight. Oh my God, que rico. This is delicious as all the sausage starts flying off of it as I'm holding it up. Oh my God, I know I keep saying this, but I gotta get a, a better mukbang stand or whatever, a better mukbang positioning, cause uh, 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 look, it's good. Mm. So Frito Lover's life is good. Life is great, doing well. Therapy is amazing. David is amazing. Work is going great. Getting to know my new director. She's awesome sauce. We're hiring new people. Which should be exciting. New relationships, new training opportunities. A lot of new, new, new at work, which is great. As much as I hate change lately, change at work has been very positive. So I'm down for it. Mm. I've been recognized a couple of times for my TikToks, or as I call them, my tiki tikis. I've been uh, recognized a couple of people on the street. Some, some teachers in my school have been like, are you on TikTok, Mr. Ben? I'm like, yes, I am. Oh my God, we love your TikTok. Ah! I'm going to put my TikTok handle somewhere here. Ben, remember to put that in there. It's at Sofrito IMS. You know, Sofrito in my soul, but it's at Sofrito written out IMS. I post there like two or three times a week. I do it every other day. I have fun. It's about Puerto Rican food and culture. And... I have fun, it's cute. Mm. But yeah, I've been recognized a couple of times, me. I know, right? I'm acting like I've never gone viral, you guys. I get nice amount of views. I've never been viral, but you know, I like to act like it. <laughs> David makes fun. He's like, are your fans? Or as he calls them, TikTok. TikTok, H-O-E-S. I don't know if I can say that word. TikTok, H-O-E-S. because I get a lot of attention from women. So David's a little jealous. David uh, David can be the jealous type because David, according to David, I'm the most gorgeous man in the world and all the women and men want me, which is not too far off, but you know. <laughs> He's like, why are so many of your followers women? And I've explained to him that On TikTok, a lot of Puerto Rican food, Latino food, TikTok is really governed heavily by women. So, you know, being a, a queer male in this space is a unique space, a unique opportunity that I provide. So a lot of women comment on my videos and the stuff that I eat and the stuff that I talk about. And yeah, occasionally some, you know, are a little flirtatious, which of course, you know, I'm gracious and I make it very clear that I'm unavailable. 
M most of the time. <laughs> David is watching this and probably glaring at me because <laughs> David watches all these videos. So he's probably looking right now and being like, bear. So just catching up with you guys, sofrito lovers. No, things are great. You know, um, looking forward to the holidays. Halloween is going to be really fun at school. We don't celebrate Halloween. We're not allowed to. Um, as a nonprofit organization, we don't recognize any religious or religious oriented or things that could be considered controversial or spiritual. We don't celebrate. We, we're celebrating fall and we're doing something called Book Oween, where people are going to dress up as their favorite book characters. What the hell is a book character? Characters from literature, but characters from books that they like. So, last year, my staff, we chose like, you know, the, the Sesame Street book series. So we were all dressed up. I was Oscar the Grouch. Wait, was I Oscar the Grouch? Or was I Cookie Monster? I don't remember now. Maybe I was Oscar. Oh, God, what a horrible memory. Folks, um, as per usual, uh, drinking my zero sugar peach Snapple. Mm. If it's not this, it's Coke Zero. You guys know. Um, comfort food. There's a percentage of the liquid in my body is zero sugar peach Snapple. Mm. I don't know what book characters we are going to be this year. I just run with it. All I say is if I don't have the shirt for it, buy me the shirt on Amazon. I'll wear it. That's what we did last year. I, I, God, I do think I was Oscar the Grouch. I think I was. I wanted to be Snuffle Up against, but we couldn't find the shirt. So I was Oscar the Grouch. Or was I Snuffle Up against? Mira, I cannot, mira, perdóname, que yo tengo la memoria de nada. I, I cannot remember anything. Either way we get into it, it's book a -ween, it's fun, it's a, a chance to laugh and have a good time with staff and with the kids, we go for it. Personally, not a real big fan of Halloween. I'm not. As a kid, I didn't get into it. It wasn't something that was too cultural for me either. Very Puerto Rican home. Some of this stuff meant nothing to my parents, so they didn't... It wasn't cultural for them, so they didn't put any importance to it. And even though my siblings and I were raised in an American culture and educated in an American way, it was important to us because it was so ubiquitous around us, but... It also didn't mean that much to me. Eventually, as a kid, I grew out of it. I didn't care. You know. So, it is fun, though, to experience it through kids. Because, you know, you do gain some of an appreciation for it. Pero mi gente, really? Sofrito lovers, I could, I could give or take it. But um, the holidays are on their way. I'm already thinking about Thanksgiving. I don't know what's going to be happening during that period of time. Um... I might have to do Thanksgiving alone because if David gets a job, if he gets this uh, job he's been auditioning for in Pennsylvania, he'll be gone early November until mid-December. So we'll probably miss Thanksgiving together. Maybe. Maybe. Thanksgiving is a big deal for David. It makes sense that it's a big deal. He wants to be around friends and family because his family's all in California. Did you see the tsunami of spit that came out of my mouth towards the camera? Wow. It's not a Ben Ramos mukbang unless I spill something on myself or I just like tsunami spray the camera. Anyhow, David really likes these holidays that bring family together. So, you know, if he's not, if he's gonna be in Pennsylvania, 
maybe we'll find the way to be together. I'll go down there. I mean, I'll have time off. I can always request an early day off, you know, go down on a Tuesday night or Wednesday night if he's in Pennsylvania. If not, then we'll figure it out. David and I have been to family. We've been to friends. We've done a lot of different things for Thanksgiving. We've been with friends. We've been with family. We've done our own Thanksgivings together. We've even, um, we, I think one time we even uh, FaceTimed his family in California. We've done it all. We'll figure something out. Again, you know, thinking about the holidays coming up. If David does get this job in November, it lasts until the middle of December, which would be great because he'd be getting back in the middle of December right before Christmas. So we wouldn't miss Christmas together. Last year, we missed Christmas together. Last year, we were supposed to be spending Christmas together. But last year, do you guys remember that horrible bomb cyclone that hit the United States? And most of us that had all over the United States, those of us that have flights were having them either super delayed or just completely canceled. Well, I was supposed to go down to Florida and both my, um, the way we worked it out, I would fly down to DC and then from DC down to Florida, both flights were canceled. So I spent Christmas Eve, Christmas, and my birthday, I don't know if you guys know, my birthday's on December 28th, three days after Christmas and basically three days before, four days before January 1st and three days before New Year's Eve. So I spent all of that period of time basically on my own. I did see some friends and family, but it was basically on my own. You know, everyone's busy. My mom wasn't feeling too great. My sister really didn't do much. My sister's tired. She's hosted a ton of holidays throughout the years. So I think now my sister's like, somebody needs to invite me. I'm not inviting anyone anymore. Somebody needs to invite me. The great thing though is I think on my birthday, I believe, yeah, on my birthday or the day after my, no, it was my birthday. On my birthday, my sister took me out. We, we had dinner together, which was great. Catching up. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, just thinking about the holidays are coming up. I want to make some definitive plans, maybe. I can be really lazy. Sometimes I let these, these holidays go by and I do nothing because I have like little to no imagination. I just don't care. <laughs> but again, we've done it all for these holidays. We've done it on our own as a couple. We've been with friends. We've been with family. We've FaceTime people. We've been to, we, I believe we even went to an event where, you know, they were like, oh, if you have no plans, everyone get together and have plans together. We've done that. We've done it all. We'll do something. And in fact, be, I think one time we were like, we'll order out, catch it next year. We've done it all. Mm. So Frito lovers, it was good to catch up. I hope you guys are doing well. You guys know me. I finished this off camera. Hope you guys are doing well. Always great to touch base with you guys. Go out there, go have some culinary adventures, go have fun. Como siempre, siempre, mucho, mucho amor.